very excited and I'm very honored to be here and I and I hope that uh, my contribution is well received and honors you the way you deserve to be honored. Little black girls twirl in figure eights with blonde haired dolls, pink cheeks and pale faces suffering from Bacola syndrome. Wishing that that doll's blue eyes were her own. She's wearing stocking caps with the legs still attached, twisted. Into one long braid, she prays will materialize by daylight. Transforming her from a pickaninny to Barbie during the course of the night while little white girls take pictures of airbrushed models to their vanity mirrors. Her reflection grows more distorted as theirs become clearer and she can't help but notice. None of them have freckles. Stringy hair or weigh more than 90 pounds. So how can I lose myself and become someone else, she asks. Mirror, mirror, shortly after dinner, I'll purge myself till you see me as thinner, slimmer, slanted eyes turned to the third face in that very same looking glass. She's having trouble looking past the yellow tint of the orient that stains her skin. See, Americans don't look she like prefer to look and sound like they do. Torching jet black silk into damaged blonde string, trading in her traditions for broken English. No one takes the time to distinguish between her and other Latinas, although they are as diverse as the countries from which they originate. People tend to associate them with tacos, burritos, or J-Lo, hunted by images of salsa and straw hats because that is how they get depicted. Slowly, she's removing the accent from her diction, trading in the cloth of her tradition for halter tops and highlights, hoping to one day marry Ben Affleck. <laughs> Come unto me, all ye who are heavy burdened. I want your nappy, stringy, permed, kinky, goldy lock, dreadlocked, and even your unbelievable. <laughs> Those who you have labeled unredeemable, the non-beautiful 99% that weren't meant to be lipo sucked or airbrushed into five years of perceived perfection. Those who have accepted rejection like they have adapted to their labels. Proud Pinkaninis, assimilated Asians, lustful Latinas, and weak-minded Caucasians amazingly being misinterpreted as ordinary. Intentionally kept out of your magazines and mainstream, it seems that these women were not pretty enough to deserve your second glance or not thin enough to fit between your pages. But these women are the proud owners of second chances which they give away freely under the condition that you don't even deserve it. Spread the word, I'm looking for you. Dark skinned sisters with heat resistant kitchens and hair with untrainable roots. Corporate American white women lost in business suits that hide your figure. You are being recruited by me. Together we will join our imperfections like hip bone to thigh to knee to shin, like blood to heart to life to skin. Our internal blueprints are identical. Our obsession with the outside tends to make us cynical. Let's gather the pennies of our thoughts and purchase a billboard to post to the highest pinnacle and let it read, our daughters are suffering from malnourished self-images, slicing their wrists with pictures of women without blemishes. Jennifer Garner isn't the only one who's 13 going on 30 or 30 going on 13, preteen now applies to five-year-olds. Kissing beneath plastic play school tables because somebody told them it was sexy indirectly, use their bodies incorrectly, wear makeup like neon signs and read, please accept me. We are accepting applications into Eve's university, where the only prerequisite is we celebrate our diversity, major in adversity, confidence and self-atonement, reclaiming our bodies so that only we can own it a place. We're pretty applies to your attitude, not your attributes. We are spirit, not your looks. Determines your attitude, forget trying to be the pretty girl. Focus on being a beautiful person. Save your second chances for people who deserve them and always remember in whose image you were created. Any debt you think you owe them is already paid, and so don't be jaded. Be free, live your life untainted, and remember that you are so beautiful, even if the magazines won't say it. Good morning, Sakai people in the room, and more Sakai people.
Morningside, he became their first African American student body president. Likely a sign of things to come. Senator Price attended a local community college, then a state university, before transferring and graduating. Oh, just from Stanford. <laughs> he received his Juris Doctorate from the University of Santa Clara. Worked for 10 years in D.C. Uh, for a telecommunications company on international projects. He has been the featured speaker at global conferences and traveled on business and pleasures around the world, Israel, Africa, Europe. He returned to Inglewood where he opened his own business and worked for the Small Business Development Corporation. Senator Price served on the Inglewood City Council before he was elected in 2006 to the California Legislature, serving the 51st Assembly District. In 2009, in May, he won a special election and in November 2010 won the general election to serve the 26th Senate District. He is a state leader who works across party lines to find common ground. He speaks his conscience and he gets things done for his constituents. His passion to serve his community led him to work towards expanding and improving job training opportunities, particularly for youth, and investing in our families and futures. As I mentioned, in 2007, Senator Price began the Shiro Awards program. We will now turn the stage over to the man that uh, is our host today for our seventh annual tribute to Shiro's. like I wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Kayla is so gracious that she had them with us from the very beginning. And I don't care what stage she's, she's on. She's good. Isn't she? Let's give it to Kayla. I want to join her in, in welcoming all of you to our 7th Annual Awards Tribute to Lunch. And thank you for being uh, real active participants. Uh, and special thanks to our sponsors, Healthy, Healthy Living, ed, healthy living Education. Uh, we have sponsors, we have uh, program participants, we have our new DA with us today, uh, and our roles recipients. Give yourselves a hand. Uh, you know, there are lots of special people in the room that we're going to acknowledge uh, during the course of the program, but let me just single out my shero, my mother, Charlie Price, mom. Did you know that our Shiro event coincides with a very important national campaign? I hate to get serious, but uh, I know we're here to celebrate. Uh, but today also we're, we come together to recognize American Health Month, uh, which, yes, it happens in the month of February. Anybody have a heart? <laughs> uh, you all should be listening. 